Hello, this is Sandat here, and welcome back to another Common Rider Game review. Today, we're taking a look at Common Rider Game ACPB03 Common Rider Sigurd and Common Rider Malika 2 pack. So, without further ado, let's take a look at our newest premium Bandai release. So here we have the packaging for ACPB03. Now this is the first two-pack in this line for riders. There's actually two full riders in this set. Instead of the two-packs, multi-packs in the past were just uh, arms. So this is Common Rider Sigurd Cherry Energy Arms, Common Rider Malika Peach Energy Arms. I am so glad we got Malika in this line. As she is the longest-lasting female rider, and it's really cool to have a figure of her in the arm change line. You can see the pictures of the two of them on the side, along the top as well, and on the bottom. Standard arms change packaging. You can see a bunch of arms changing happening with the other energy riders. And this really cool shot of the energy riders within the Helheim Forest, um, which just looks really cool. So yeah, this is the most expensive set. Uh, it did retail, or not retail, but uh, premium Bandai price, I think, after Middleman Fees was over 9,000 yen. Um, it was not cheap, but as we're about to see in a little bit, it's totally worth it. Um, so anyways, without further ado, let's start with Sigurd. Alright, so here we have Common Rider Sigurd in his pre-armed state. Now this figure is nearly entirely new, which is really awesome. Uh, the arms are brand new. The biggest reused parts, the most obvious, is the Sonic Arrow. It's the same one I've shown several times. Um, I liked the uniformity of each of the Energy Riders having a Sonic Arrow, and then I realized, oh no, it makes the toys kind of boring because there's not a new weapon each time. But, as one of the last energy riders, here is Sigurd. Now, first of all, his chest is the same as Duke's, uh, as far as I can tell. Um, it is that smooth black design going on. It's pretty neat. I will get the com one complaint with the entire figure out of the way. If it actually could focus on his belt instead of everything behind it. Come on. Come on. There we go. Uh, so as you can see, the Cherry Energy Lock Seed is a little crooked. Uh, being a separate piece, it is uh, slightly crooked on this guy, which is really a shame. But you can see the detail is pretty nice. Uh, and there's something with the eyes I'll go into in a little bit. You can see the uh, the furry parts are just molded in. They're not actual fur. Um, but they do look pretty good. Uh, it does invoke cool things. So the upper thighs here are the same. The hands, I think, are different. Um, the feet are the same, and like I said, the chest is the same. Other than that, everything else is pretty much new, which is fantastic. Um, I'll have to refocus there. Working with a new camera here. Um, camera phone, that is. But, anyways, now we, we need to get to the articulation. The articulation is the same, so we don't need to go into that, um, at least for this figure. But the arms itself, the Cherry Energy arms here, you see, it's two cherries. It's actually kind of clever how this goes from two cherries into a single shoulder pad armor. So clicks on in place, uh, fits in nice, a lot better than Bravo's did. And now we can do the arms change, which is just really cool how this whole system of, of joints works to make this happen. Bring this down, bring this back. And there we have Commodore Sigurd Cherry Energy Arms. Now, the first thing you'll notice, um, or won't notice, there is a clear tab that sticks out here. That's where it plugs in. Not really avoiding it, but in certain angles you can get it to where it's not noticeable. Um, now there is a gray tab on the back there. That's just part of the design. The cherries themselves make this nice convincing shoulder pad. They don't really click together, um, but they all kind of fit over here. And it doesn't restrict the arm movement at all, which is really nice. The chest piece has a nice clear plastic to lead into the shoulder. Uh, you can see the helmet has the has the lines um, to connect to the back piece, the Kabuto. And you can see that you got all the cherries on there, which is really nice. The thing that surprised me, though, is that he actually has magnified eye lenses. It's kind of crazy, but it is legitimately a magnified effect. Um, it magnifies the back color. This is the first time this has happened in this line. And it's the same on Malika as well. But... Yeah, 
there's magnified eyes. I would have loved this on some of the other figures. I think it gives a great look. Um, and overall, I'm quite impressed. It kind of sucks that we don't have any other figures in the line unless Knuckle, Mal Malice, Kamaro, and Ryug and Yomi um, will all come with uh, magnified lenses. But what can you do? It's actually really neat. Um, I think that it adds a lot to the helmet and makes it look less like that uh, back helmet piece is in the back of the helmet and not just the color of the lenses. Now, the Sonic Arrow is the same Sonic Arrow I've reviewed before, starting with Zangetsu Shin, uh, went to Jimber Lemon Gaim, was also with Duke and Genesis Baron. So if you want to see that, go watch any of those reviews. So there is Kamen Rider Sigurd Cherry Energy Arms. And I gotta say, I'm really impressed with the figure. Uh, the Cherry Energy Arms is super cool. I always loved the design of it. Sonic Arrow is the most boring part of it because it is strictly the same Sonic Arrow we've gotten before. But this guy is pretty cool. Now, he's unfortunately the Premium Bandai Schools with the most expensive set in the line. And if you're not a fan of Malika, you can't get him on his own uh, without splitting the set with someone. So, all those aside, I think he's super cool. Uh, but, out of the two that came in this set, he's the one I was looking forward to the least. What was the one I was looking forward to the most? Well, let's take a look at Kamen Rider Malika. Alright, so here we have Kamen Rider Malika. Before we continue, I did check. Uh, Sigurd does have a new chest uh, on his pre-armed state, then Duke. But let's talk about Malika, the first all-pink female rider, the first villainous female rider, the first female rider to last longer than a movie or a few episodes of a show. She is a main character, and that is awesome. It's finally time for a female writer to last longer than a short amount of time. And it is nice that she got a figure in the arms change line. Uh, unfortunately, she's going to be released at retail. Female writer stuff just doesn't sell very well. The Peach Energy Lock Seed was one of the easiest to find for the longest time. But this figure is still fantastic. It is the only female body mold in the entire line. So she is a purely unique figure outside of her Sonic Arrow. As you can see, the head sculpt is fantastic. She's got the magnified lenses like Sigurd does. She does have breasts, so no one can get upset. She, she does have breasts. Um, her overall proportions, she looks like she could have reused parts, but she actually is slightly smaller than another pre armor state. Uh, her lock seed's on straight, which is awesome. Uh, you can see you got the back piece, which is all painted in the front uh, skirt piece. You also got the legs and the feet. They're all scaled down to the proper female proportions. Um, of the character as well. I really appreciate the fact that Bandai did go through the trouble of making a new female body mold just for this figure um, instead of going the old Bandai of America route back in the 90s with their Power Rangers toys and making everyone the same body mold even though there were different genders going on. So next we'll take a look at the Peach Energy Arms which looks very peachy um, including a, a, it has a butt. It's kind of weird but Peach Energy Arms is nice and you can take Malika here and Put the Peach Energy Arms over her head. She also, I must add, her uh, shoulder clips are the same size as the other uh, riders. She can wear all the arms. Uh, it is possible. So we can bring this shoulder pad down here. Bring her chest plate into place. And fold this back here. And now you have Malika's Peach Energy Arms. So overall, really cool. And I must say that I'm also impressed by the fact that even though she's a female figure and sometimes they get less articulation... She actually has the same articulation, uh, ball joint neck, shoulders, biceps, elbows, wrists, uh, fingers, legs, a little restricted, kind of like Ryugans, but yeah, you know, she's got all the articulation she could need, um, which is really cool, um, especially since this is still one of the best female writers we've ever gotten in a common writer show. So, really cool overall. Uh, I love the design of it as well. It's bright pink, yeah, but guess what? We've never had a pink female writer before. We've had a pink male writer. Decade was weird. Now you can see on her chest design here, uh, she does have her logo, and she does have the connecting uh, clear plastic look to the shoulder pad, which is really nice. And her helmet is the right color, even got the green on the bottom. And there are, it's kind of got the breast design going on with the chest plate, so if you want to give your male writers boobs, just in case you do, just give them the peach energy arms. 
So overall, I gotta say that Arms Change Common Rider Malika is a resounding success of a figure. After this line has used a lot of reused parts to make everything happen, this is a breath of fresh air. It's a female rider. We don't usually get female rider figures. I only have three female riders, including her, in this size. And it's kind of crazy that we still haven't gotten a figure art announcement for a character that is very important to the show. And if there ever is a figure art of Kamen Rider Malika, at least in the near future, that will be a shame, and we'll have another one-up with the Arms Change line being the better Kamen Rider Gaim action figure line. So overall, Kamen Rider Malika is fantastic. The only problem is, is you have to get her only through Premium Bandai with Kamen Rider Sigurd. If she could, be, she could have been sold on her own, that would have been awesome, but I'm just glad we got her. So, how's the set overall? So overall, ACPB03, Kamen Rider Sigurd, and Malika is a resounding success of an arms change set. I have not seen a set that has had this much uniqueness to it after the first few releases. Um, you have two unique arms, the only real new, the only real reused thing is the Sonic Arrows. Everything else is pretty much new on these two, especially Malika, who is completely new, and Sigurd is mostly new. And it completes our Energy Rider team here. It's really awesome to see this set released, and currently these two don't have figure art releases planned, while the other two Energy Riders do, I could see these two coming out as a two-pack in the SH Figure Arts line. But overall, I am quite happy with this, and I'm really glad I pre-ordered it, because the aftermarket price is a little steep for these guys right now, with it being about $150 to $160, depending on where you look. Hopefully it does come down in price, because I'd really like more people to own this set. And overall, they make a great addition to the Arms Change line. So here we have the entire arms change line. Sigurd and Malika are the last release in the line while the show's on air, as they did arrive to my house two days before the last episode of Gaim aired in Japan. Uh, unfortunately, we still have three more releases, and it, it's quite incredible how much was released based on just sheer number of writers here. Um, you can't even see all their faces, it's so crowded. And all the stuff that was released, it's quite impressive, and I really really commit, commend Bandai for their, their fantastic work on this line. Really great line, and while I'm sad that guy was over and the toy line is over, we still have some more releases, so the guy hype can run through January. Because in October we'll have Commander Knuckle, in November we'll have Commander Mars and Kamara as a set, and in January we'll have Commander Ryugan Yomi. Outside of that, I don't know if they'll make anybody else, but I will buy them if they do. So, Overall, really great Common Rider action figure line. Anyways, be sure to check out HeroTiger.com for all your Common Rider drive news, because yes, Game is over. Drive news is what's going to be coming out now. And also, stay tuned as we still have more to do. Talks to the sound saying. Goodbye.